Commander, what are some of America's worst vulnerabilities to terrorist attacks? Well, just to, you know, our shores, the fact that we have a free society and that we welcome everybody in. Uh, our intelligence certainly has improved from when I was on active duty and, and uh, lessons learned that we get from our, you know, Iraq operations, Afghani operations, and now we're, as we chase around Somalia and Yemen, we're, we're getting into the how to, how to stop things, what, what we haven't played hard enough. And I don't think we, as American citizens, think that anybody's going to really come in and get us. And, and so the armed groups infiltrating don't bother me as much as, as we're seeing now, the individual, because they don't talk to many people, so you don't have that much database to collect on them. Mm -hmm. So someone that wants to mimic what happens overseas or someone that suddenly develops this belief that we are wrong, whether, I just take an example of the Norwegian individual that took down all those kids on the island. Mm -hmm. I mean, there weren't a lot of early warnings on him. So in our free society, that is our most biggest vulnerability, that one single person. And I could tell you lots of ways to strangle the U.S. as one person.